Hi, good morning. Cornish Chris, uh, back on the River Tweed uh, for day two of Bolside. Uh, if you didn't see it, please check out day one. Uh, it was a very interesting video, uh, lots of ups and a few downs. Uh, so today's video, uh, I will be fishing um, on some more uh, of the amazing pools here at this uh, really cool fishery, Great Gilly. Just gonna have a cup of tea and then we're gonna get started. So if you're new to my channel, please understand I record fishing videos regardless of whether or not I catch a fish. For me, it's all about the experience of the day, getting out and uh, fishing in this amazing country. Uh, so please give us a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> everyone Cornish Chris back out on the river again River Tweed with Bolside fishing day two and I've come up to fish this pool I'll put the pool names up when I edit this video Theo's out with me again today so Looking forward to a uh, nice and relaxing weekend with him out all day. Means two days on the trot, normally get at least a day of a little bit less sort of hyperactivity. <laughs> I mean, he's a good old sort, he really is. He's great company out here. Doesn't like the rocks, but you know. Ooh, who does? <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna start here and just uh, chuck a quite a small line down this channel. I got a. Uh, I'm si uh, fishing to start with with the Oracle Scandi, 40 foot nine rod, 10 weight. All the description of my setup is in the uh, description of this video. Uh, I'm fishing another fishing intermediate line, uh, intermediate uh, head, tippet rather, whatever. And I'm fishing with this um, magnificent tube fly as provided to me by my friend Matt. You can find his details in the description as well. Yeah, so uh, a bit cooler today. Warmed up quite a bit yesterday, but I'm expecting it to get quite um, a bit warmer we expect today because uh, it's just meant to be getting warmer towards the bank holiday weekend it's Friday the 5th is it 5th of May I think well basically yeah it's got to be the 5th of May because tomorrow is the King's coronation uh, so I shall be making sure but uh, I watch YouTube and something else on telly, I'm sure. 
and I'm, I am indifferent to the royals. I'm not a royalist, but then again, I'm not an abolitionist. So they don't really have a, a great impact on my life. Um, so I shall probably, I should, hopefully some shops might be open. Well done. So hopefully some shops might be open. I might go to a fishing shop, you know, just for a change. Yeah, just do something else. Because the uh, uh, TV here is going to be awash with it all. And for my uh, subscribers from Norway and Denmark and Sweden, thank you so much for joining me. In fact, everybody who's joined me recently on my weird fishing adventure, thank you so much. It means a huge amount uh, that you've uh, decided to subscribe and to watch. Really, really cool. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, I'm being quite aggressive through this, uh, sort of not really, I mean, you can't read it. What is it, from here to there, 20 feet, maybe 30 feet? So it's just a very short line, and I'm just casting it just across the opposite bank and fishing it quite aggressively down through this little channel. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the first video uh, on bowl side. I mean, I haven't edited it yet, so it, I'm not sure how much of the footage I'm going to include, but I did lose the plot again yesterday because I was getting a bit hangry. I didn't have any breakfast. I started a bit later and uh, I caught and lost three flies in straight succession which was highly infuriating. Oh, I wasn't a happy bunny. got better in the afternoon. I think what it was is that um, I had stuck on this fast sink tip and I just was catching every rock and boulder and I think to be fair to both uh, to, to me is that I didn't really know how deep the river was and actually in the first stretch just up by the bridge on the confluence of the river uh, Ettrick and, uh, and the Tweed it was really shallow. In fact, I mean, I remember fishing, or not, uh, yeah, fishing up here in the autumn of last year when I was on places like Ashistel, the Yare, you know, places like that, uh, Ellie Bank. The river was running high, and I remember looking over just up from the that road bridge is an old is the old bridge. I remember stood, stood over there a few times looking at the river and it was like a raging torrent. So to see the river as it is now, we haven't had a lot of rain. In fact, we haven't had any rain. Uh, so the river's really low. But whilst I might not necessarily connect with a running fish, you never know, I might pick on a resident. I might pick on someone who's camping out there for a little while in a different lie. At the end of the day, you, you just got to go fishing. Or rather, I've just got to go fishing. I come up on these mad fishing adventures. And... You know, the thought is always there, you know, you could catch a fish, regardless of the, um, 
the water conditions. There were meant to be two other fishermen out with me today and yesterday, but they've both cried off apparently because the river's low. And I think, well, okay. If you're local, I suppose, or if you're like a season member or a member of the syndicate, which I understand there's a syndicate for this, then, you know, you can kind of pick and choose when you want to go. But uh, someone like me, I just, I'm just so addicted to this stupid sport <laughs> that I just have to be fishing. And I get jittery when I don't fish. I enjoy having some time off, of course, who doesn't, you know, got to, but uh, if, if, you know, I'm like a typical fisherman, you just can't, when you drive over a road bridge or you drive next to a river or walk next to a river, you can't help but look in, looking for potential lies. I've now I finished in that run and I'm now kind of moving down into the main pool itself. Rock. And time to lengthen my cast a bit, try to make sure I uh, reach over as far as I can. The course of the river is pulling me to my left towards the bank that side and Theo is already over on that side now uh, running up and down the bank having a fantastic time which is marvellous so I'm just trying to target behind that uh, there's this fallen tree here, so thinking of possible likely uh, locations or likely lies. That could be a good, uh, good location to put my fly. So have you guys managed to get out yet? Any fishing exploits to report? what's been going on in your world, any catches, any trips planned, feedback from places or recommendations based upon trips you've been on that uh, you think I might enjoy, you know, drop it in the comments section, love to hear about it. Um, a few uh, subscribers have been fishing on the Tay quite a bit. Uh, my friend Lee caught two uh, two lovely salmon uh, recently on the Tay at Upper Delvin, so that was really cool to see him catch. Yeah, so it's great. Great to see subscribers uh, out there catching. Uh, my friends at Spate. Uh, Spate YouTube channel. It was Lana has caught a fish already. Uh, great videos. Love their production values. Nice to see. Uh, the friend Chris from Tattooed Angler uh, is really rocking his brown trap adventures. Uh, caught some good fish. I saw. You have to understand, though, that um, I'm talking about these things I've seen, like, in April. And this video will probably come out in June, uh, based upon my filming and release schedule. I like to do it. I like to release a film every week. And occasionally I'll release, like on the bank holiday weekend that we're on now, the coronation weekend, I'm going to uh, put two videos out. Um, but normally I like to do one a week it's consistent people don't miss out uh but of course if you if you can't remember it's going to be uh every sunday half past six in the evening hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my content so uh planning to come back up as i said uh, for fishing on the d 
for the D24 Hour Marathon Challenge charity event. Uh, and uh, yeah, going to be um, finally, <laughs> finally, after much sort of um, toing and froing, umming and ahhing, I am going to uh, force myself to go a little bit further north, go up to Inverness, go on to the, the Findhorn or Findhorn. Um, however it's pronounced see I'm going to look into fish up there I want to go and fish on the Ness if I can maybe go over to is it Dock 4 that looks like a pretty uh, cool place there's a YouTuber called uh, Cameron up there which I'm assuming it must be the Gilly as well uh, and he puts up some really cool videos when people catch fish so be good to meet him yeah, uh, River Oik as well has been recommended to me. I don't know how to get onto the Oik though, so if you know, uh, if you know, can you get on there as a day ticket? Uh, that would be good if you know how to get onto there. I mean, there's so many amazing fisheries, but of course, majority of the time it's association water which, you know, you have to be a member for a year. Uh, which I don't, you know... I think the, the, the association I would like to join, if I can, next year is the Perth and District Angling Association because they've got some amazing water. Uh, I mentioned Lee earlier on. Uh, brought me as a guest with his son, Jamie, to... Um, to fish Upper Delvin and there's I think it's Upper Falia and I don't know actually there's probably a few others I think I discounted it I kind of thought that maybe it was just for locals when I looked at it but I think it's uh, I think it's open to non-locals as well so if that remains the case then I am looking forward to getting out there I'm just looking at the riverbed here I'm getting I'm getting deeper and deeper on my left and it's shallower and shallower here on my right so rather than tracking in towards the riverbank I think I'm gonna stick it in the middle here ah uh, I'm absolutely livid I've just had an interaction with another dog owner who was so bloody useless dog wasn't necessarily uh, vicious, he was just bouncing around next to me. I'm in the river, Theo's in the river because he doesn't like big dogs, that was a big dog, right? So we're both stood on the river and this dog is just running around, it's tearing up, it's jumping into the river, it jumped up on me, it jumped up on him and the owners just stood there like, come on, come on, come on, and I just said, what do you effing call your dog? Get a whistle around his neck. Here's the whistle. Oh, he's, oh, he's really tough to train. He's a Labrador. If any dog is easy to train, it's a bloody Labrador. But really, I'm going to have to calm down for 10 minutes before I go back in the river, because that was absolutely despicable. I want to really, really swear. So when I switch the camera off, I will. But I was so annoyed. Like, just he stood there on the bank, like, come on. If you can't control a dog, in other words, you can't get the dog to come back to you, don't let it off the bloody lead. And I sometimes wonder why people buy dogs and then don't give it any training. You know, this dog needed training, it needed attention, and all that guy was doing was on, he was on his phone, for God's sake, scrolling on his phone while this dog's messing about round us. And I just said, will you call your dog? Oh, come on, come on. <sighs> Honestly, he is an absolute uh, uh, jewel. Yeah, you whistle him, he comes back. Yeah, uh, he stays when he's get when he gets told to stay. Right, perfectly well behaved, well trained dog. 
that's what you want. If you own a dog and you come down to a bloody river like this and it just tearing around, it's in the river, it was down, it's right in the pool, went right in the pool that I was fishing through, straight in the middle. <sighs> Fucking annoying. Oh, I swore then. Apologies if you're offended easily. But if you're if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, you probably won't be that offended because I do sometimes uh, swear. coffee. Just a little bite to eat. Didn't have any breakfast again this morning. So before I start getting hangry, I thought it'd be good to have a bite. I want to say a uh, huge thank you to Chris who I fished with on the River Urn. He encouraged me uh, to get the Kelly kettle out, which is what he did on, when we fished on the River Urn together. Uh, I thought, yeah, I've had that Kelly kettle sat in the back of the car for years, never used it. <clears throat> As I said in the previous video, I am enjoying not just the fishing, but uh, getting out in the countryside and cooking and, you know, it's not as adventurous as some of the YouTube channels I follow and watch but uh, it's my own slice of it if you're looking for some good outdoor adventure channels a couple i'm uh, uh three uh, i'm actually really keen on uh first i've said this before it's simon a bloke in the woods He's probably not only my main inspiration for my filming style and the films that I make. If you watch some of his movies, you'll see um, you'll see some similarities uh, the way he constructs his uh, films and also the types of things he does. Um, but uh, also Kent Survival, another guy that I like uh, I like watching, really cool. And then there's uh, T A Outdoors. He also has T A Fishing. Uh, good, good channels to watch. Uh, what was I watching the other day? I was watching uh, um, a 20 something lad cycle from, ooh, like I want to say, that around the whole of Africa. Uh, so yeah, I like stuff like that. I like uh, watching Itchy Boots, B O O T S. Uh, she's a, a female motorcyclist and she goes off on all these amazing solo travels. So, wow, when you start moving down the pool, I've just seen a fish jump. That was a big one. Let's get down there. No, let's, not, let's not neglect the rest of the pool. Yeah, so she does like um, all this solo travel. I do enjoy watching people going on these adventures. And although my, my, this is my type of adventure, it has given me some inspiration for some adventures I want to go on next year. I'm put, trying to put together this European fishing trip still doing the costings now and doing a lot of research. I would like to 
get myself over to the continent and sort of like head up, you know, Netherlands, Denmark, Sweden, going fishing on some of those uh, some of those rivers over there. But of course, you know, it's quite a it's quite a thing to do. I've got to make sure I've got. I think it's only you can only be away. Is it oh, 90 days or something? In every 180, or is it the other way around? I've still got to work all the things out. The biggest thing that wouldn't necessarily bother me going, but of course it's uh, getting Theo all sorted out with all the new paperwork that uh, has to be done. Um, so get that sorted out. And then really working out where I'm going to go fishing. Any suggestions? Any advice? Especially from my uh, subscribers in that uh, neck of the woods. It'd be uh, great to have your feedback. I mean, I don't really. I want to avoid, if I can, if I, at all possible. I want to avoid, you know, these big lodges where it's thousands and thousands of pounds to fish, because I don't have that kind of budget. I would like to see if I can get access to any kind of like public water or association water. And then of course, document it for this channel. Right, so that was lunch. I'm back up on the garden back pool. Going to go through this with the fly. Going to go a little bit further this time. I started at the top of the garden back pool yesterday. So today I think I'm going to shoot down a little bit further. I've seen a little bit of uh, activity in the water already. So, yeah, it's quite nice weather. Sun is coming out though. Partial cloud, it's about 16 degrees. So it's warmed up tremendously. I haven't caught, I know I haven't caught anything at this fishery, but generally oh, I would definitely come back here. It's got a good uh, selection of water. Plan to fish this uh, for about an hour. It's uh, half past one now. So I had a quick bite to eat in the fishing hut in the the lodge. Um, and then I think we're we're probably going to go over to uh, the other side, the other bank, like we did last night or yesterday afternoon and fish there for the last hour. Yeah, generally, this is a really nice place. I'm, I'm so pleased I, I chose to come here. At least up on this stretch, you don't or shouldn't get. That's money problems with uh, walkers because uh, this is a little bit more private. Although I've just now spotted two people on the bank with their dogs.
Right, so I've uh, just fished through the garden back pool again. <clears throat> Saw some uh, pretty big fish moving, but not in the direction of my fly. Now, just going to just target this sort of where the bank's gone away, uh, just down to where it, there's the wall there, just with a spinning rod because I've put a black and yellow sort of cascade tube fly through there, which I had on earlier. I then changed over to a um, the lightest possible fly I could get, um, like a banana, you know, just to try and skate it across the surface because I noticed there were fish coming up, probably trout, maybe a big trout uh, coming up for it. Um, and then uh, that wasn't taking anything. So I'm just going to do this again for half an hour, just with the spinning rod and the flying sea. Just kind of scoot this through this little section. There's quite a bit of movement in this little area, which I've noticed from earlier. So maybe this will trigger something. Coming up to uh, half past two. Right, uh, well that's it I think, uh, it's just coming on for quarter to four and I fished solidly for two days here at Bullside, fantastic fishery. I uh, will definitely be coming back to Bullside, I really enjoyed my, my time here. Uh, some great variation in pools and fishing opportunities, fantastic ghillie, great facilities, semi-private, bit of uh, off-road sort of tracks. Yeah, nice variation. I think that uh, I might look at uh, coming back to Bullside in the autumn, um, you know, towards the back end of the, of the fishing season when I'm back up here again. Uh, but that's it for me. Thanks very much. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please don't uh, hesitate to give me a massive thumbs up. And uh, if you're new, please subscribe. I've got another day's fishing on the River Tweed, which is my last day uh, on this trip, and that's coming up. Um, on the bank holiday Monday uh, which is at Tweedswood uh, a beat that I've been long looking forward to returning to and then that's it until I'm back in June late June uh, for the River D 24 hour marathon don't forget there's still time to sponsor me uh, head over to uh, the link that's in the description to this video where you can find out more about uh, uh, that uh, marathon 24 hour fishing event and uh, details of my uh, Just Giving uh, page where you can donate. Well, guys, thanks very much for your continued support. Look forward to uh, uh, bringing you another video very soon. Proper job.